Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 339. It's an easy level problem, but you can see the accuracy is very low, <laughs> less than 50%. So let's see what is making the accuracy of this problem so low. So the name of the problem is find the longest balanced substring of a binary string. Okay, you are given a binary string S consisting of only zeros and ones. Okay, a substring of S is considered balanced if all the zeros are before ones. Okay. And the number of zeros is equals to the number of ones inside the substring. Notice that empty substring is considered as a balanced string. Okay, obviously because you have equal number of zeros and ones, right? And all the zeros are considered to be uh, before one, right? So not violating any condition. Return the length of the longest balanced substring of S. A substring is a contiguous sequence of characters within the string. Okay, so you are given a binary string. Like in this case, I have zero, one, zero, 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 one, one, one. Okay. So pick up all the substrings, pick up all the substring. I'm telling you the brute force uh, thing. Okay, this is more of an implementation based problem. Pick up all the substrings and what you do, you find the substring, you find the length of the substring, which is balanced. What is the meaning of balanced? So suppose I pick this, I pick this. So here in this substring, all the zeros are coming before all the ones in this substring. First condition, all the zeros are before all the ones. Second condition is the number of zeros equals to the number of ones. These are the two conditions that you have to satisfy. If it satisfies, it is a balanced string and you have to find the length of the maximum uh, or the largest balanced substring. Okay. Similarly here, you have zero, zero, one, one. So what I, sorry, one, one, one. I can pick this part. Just see the number of zeros and number of ones are equal. Also, all the zeros are before ones. The length of the substring is four. Four is my answer here. Six is my answer. I pick this substring. What about this? One, one, one. Now, just see, just see here. You don't have any zeros. You can't pick any substring which is a balanced string, right? So hence, your answer will be zero in this case. Okay. So what I have done here, just see the length of the string is 50. I can run a brute force solution. I can run a big O of n square solution where I try to generate all the substring and check it. Okay. So this is my main function. Just see what I've done here. So here my answer is zero. Length is s dot length. Now i equals to zero i less than n. So i will give me the sorry, i will give me the starting index and j will give me the ending index. It means that you are right now considering the substring from index number s to index number e or from index number i to index number j. So this is the starting point. So I've taken a string builder, just an optimization. So j equals to i, j less than n, j plus plus str dot append s dot care of i okay so suppose the string is 0 0 1 1 just taking an example so initially this is your starting point okay you want to generate all the substrings starting from this point so what you do initially that is 0 okay now you append one more 0 you append one more 1 you append one more 1 so this j loop is doing this appending all apart okay now once you are done your i is incremented you come here now you consider all the substrings starting from here okay so this is why this is what uh, this loop is doing okay so let me just erase it for clarity right now what i am doing i am i'm just call so this is the substring i want to check i'm calling a function is balanced just pass this string if it is balanced then answer equals to math dot max of answer whatever length you have seen till now and j minus i plus one because this is the length of the current substring okay and finally we return the answer now comes the question what is there in is balanced okay so this is the main function is balanced so is balanced takes a string and checks whether it is balanced or not so what i have done here this pre z is basically the number of prefix zeros you have okay that's why that's why i have named it pre z okay and this is the length of the string that i have received okay while pre z is less than n and n s dot care at pre z equals to zero meaning suppose your string is this okay so you keep on traversing your string until you you are finding zeros the moment you find a one or you consume consume the whole string just break the loop okay so this pre z will tell me the number of prefix z zeros okay i've taken a couple of extra variables this z will tell me the number of the total number of zeros in my substring the total number of zeros so here zero zero one zero one the pre z is zero sorry pre z equals to two I have two prefix zeros, but that Z will be three because total number of zeros I have here is three. So this is what I'm doing here. S dot caret equals to zero Z plus plus. You traverse the whole string. Okay. Now to make it a balanced string, what are the two conditions that I have to satisfy? The two conditions are the number of zeros. Okay. The, or let's talk about this. Okay. 
the number of zeros and the number of preset zeros should be equal because if they are not equal then that means i do not have all the zeros in the form of prefix zeros okay pre tells me the prefix zero z tells me the total number of zeros these two have to be equal right then that means all the zeros are before one that's the first condition what is the second condition the number of zeros and number of ones are same so for that you can do something like this that pre z pre z equals equals l minus pre z because l minus pre z will give you the total number of ones or the remaining characters that means pre z is two here what are the remaining characters if these are these all are one if these all are one then it should be uh, the frequency of zeros and one should be equal right so that's what i'm doing so these are two conditions both have both have to be true first the the pre z should be equal to the remaining string okay so if all are ones then it will be balanced but i'll also check z equals to pre z if z is not equals to pre z that means in the remaining part i i have some zeros and hence it will not be a balanced string so i return this okay so this is what i do and finally i keep a track of uh, which are the balanced string and i take the maximum value i return it in the form of my answer right so this was the trick here these two conditions and i think people were missing one of the condition and hence uh, they were getting wrong answers but yeah this is the tricky part you have to consider the edge cases right so yeah i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case of any queries let me know in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye